and welcome back to the Only Aki's channel. It's finished here. St Mirren won Hamilton to uh, a massive three points in our relegation battle. Joining Brandon uh, with us today is Adam and we will have Alistair later on. Adam, I welcome to you first though, mate. Huge three points, good performance. What did you make of it today? Yeah, it was massive, three points. Like We started off really well. I had no problems with anything we'd done in the first half. Like The goal in that, like Moyo in that first half, we ran it, just ran about it. Didn't usually expect that. Mm -hmm. And we came out strong and positive. Like, see, as usually, like, start the season, start out, we're 2 0 down, 1 0 down. But we just seemed confident. Like, then as the game grew in the second half, we got that second goal, and you're thinking, we could go and get mayor here. We kind of lost that wee bit when they scored. But I, we, I think we defended Pip well to try and hold on. Absolutely. And Brandon, I mean, Adam mentioned David Moyo there. You've said before you're a big <laughs> David Moyo supporter. And let's be honest, he played well today. Uh, what did you make of it? I mean, I say I'm a big David Moyo So You say I'm a big David Moyo supporter. I wouldn't say that. I just don't think the critics... Like, if somebody posted it on the Facebook page during the game, like, oh, Moyo is absolutely dreadful when... He really was, not it? It's just the usual scapegoat, right? I, I know he's not the most technically gifted or football-wise, football he's the best, but see the difference in us today when... Like, I'm here with my pals. I don't think any of them know what position he's playing. I think we were maybe playing a 5-2-2-1 two, two, and Moyle was just behind Anderson. But he was absolutely everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying he's particularly done things amazing, but... See the fact he's everywhere. We've got we've got a ball for someone to look for. It's completely changed the way in which we've been playing recently because we've been playing these big punts up the park to two small strikers and we're winning absolutely nothing. And Moyo perhaps hasn't won the balls that he's had sent up to him, but he's caused chaos and then that's resulted in us actually getting a goal, a goal, the first goal, and then the second goal. It's a pure David Moyle goal where it was, I don't think he even meant it. Much, so, I knew not much about it, but oh, it's just fair play. I think as a whole, as a team, we were really good. Um, first half, especially, second half, we were absolutely breaking it. The second, especially, especially the second half of the second half. Um, I think even with the management, when St. Mum made the changes, we were straight on the back foot when they made their, change, their changes, and I think that's when. Other teams would have also made changes to sort of um, counter that, but we didn't because I think the management were just too scared to make any changes in case it did fuck us. Mm. But uh, they're doing it again. Um, I think we all, I think pretty much every Aki's fan was fucking hanging right, looking forward to this away game, uh, looking forward to going there next year in the championship, and it's back in our own hands. It's just. It's mental. It's uh, too good. Too good. Um, Adam, I'm interested. Um, like Brandon said, it is back in our own hands now. We've got our last two games coming up. Ross County and Kelly are relegation rivals. How confident are you about staying up? Because I've asked everybody who comes on this and everyone gives me a different answer, so I'm interested in yours. Eh, I'm not an optimistic person when it comes to Aki's. Like, anybody can blame me for that. If we play like how we did in that first half today, I don't see how we can. Absolutely. And is there any the day that stood out to you in particular? Um, Brandon's going on with David Moyle. Was there anybody else who maybe stood out to you? Uh, I'd say Hickey Madoffin. Like, he just, and now you see him in that midfield, you kind of feel a bit more confident that we're going to control that a bit. And it just feels as if every time a ball goes near him, he's either got to take the ball or put the play out. Jamie Hamilton was unbelievable. A very, he didn't do much to be caught in the limelight, but he done everything that he don't really pick up on in a game Jamie Hamilton was absolutely solid yeah. um, although I would love to give man a match to David Moyer because I think he, he actually deserves it for his performance it's hard in my opinion it's hard to argue with Jamie Hamilton because he might have not done things that were pure standing out in the game but he just picked up everything he was he was unbelievable once again um, we'll struggle to keep on to him next year but team as a whole I don't think you can really criticise much players I think Gourley was a bit suspect with a few yeah. things. I mean, but... he goes off, let's be honest, a world day save. It, exactly. So that's why you can't criticise him too much because that save he pulls off is unbelievable. So that's why you can't really... I don't think there is. Hodgson as well, he stoked Everton doing his, his side. Um, 
and I, well, I don't think there is a player you can really criticise in that, in that game, if I'm being honest with you. Anderson, perhaps, because he was, I don't know, he just, he's, he's not been what he was the first few games, but I would, I hope this is just something that, I, I think it's just been something that's found all the fans. Maybe was, everybody thought we were then buried once again. They've went and pulled this result out. It's in our own, own hands, technically. Let's just everybody get behind. Let's forget which went on behind the scenes in the club and which went on this full season. Let's just everybody get fucking behind the team now because it's in our own hands and we can do the... I think that, I, I've mentioned it so many times before, this would be the greatest ever escape. Yeah. I, I would Because all the challenges we've had all season, the squad we've had just ever, this would be the, the best of them all. And I just really hope now we do it because... At quarter to three, I was a completely different mentality today. Now I'm just, I'm absolutely buzzing. I'm fucking so happy, man. Honestly, I, I, I can't see how happy I'm. Uh, you did want to say just before your phone dies, um, there was something you wanted to say about team management. I was wondering if that was about Aye, so, so, so that's what I was sort of, I touched on briefly there with the, the sort of subs. St. Mung made a few changes. It completely changed the game. It put them on the front foot. For instance, when we've played Ross County, when we've made a few changes when the game that we thought were then buried after that, before the Rangers game, Ross County made changes, countered that, and then went up the park and won the game. St. Murn have made the changes. We should have made changes quite sooner. But you can't be too critical because we've still won the game. But mm -hmm. the game manager, in my opinion, could have been better. I just think the players, uh, the management, were too scared to actually make subs because they were scared of what the repercussions could have been. If we made changes a bit earlier, the game would have been... Because I don't know what about you, but that last 20 minutes, honestly, the heart palpitations I was having was unbelievable. I was so nervous. And I think St. Murn were particularly playing that well, so it didn't need to feel like that. Mm. But because... We didn't make any changes until the last five minutes. Uh, it, it could have it could have been a bit better than that in the last. But I'm no, there's no point in criticising anything about the day. We've won the game. It's a back in our own hands. Let's go and fucking do this a week on Wednesday and prove all the fucking full of Scottish football wrong. Let's do it again. So uh, happy. So happy. <laughs> uh, and Adam, just before we go... We saw today Nathan Thomas come on. We saw last week Lewis Smith come on. Two players come back from injury. How important do you think they'll be in our last two games? Two, two good attacking threats. Yeah, I think Lewis Smith will be a big help coming back. No sure about Nathan Thomas because I don't think, I think he's finished in 90 minutes. <laughs> but I think no Lewis, finished 10 minutes. I, I think <laughs> Lewis Smith just brings like, just something a bit more creativity to him because that's one thing I think everybody would agree is we need lack. Mm -hmm. I think he's the one that can swing it on. So... It'll be massive for the final two. <laughs> and today, Alistair, Alistair, uh, we've just seen there uh, Adam, Brandon, and I buzzing with the result. How are you after that? If, uh, if it finished 2 0, I'd be buzzing. I'd still be buzzing, but um, the sweat's been pissing out me for the last 20 <laughs> minutes after favorites. the game and the last 20 minutes of the game. I, I had stopped biting my fingernails for the past two months and they were starting to run and I've just took them all the way back down. Honestly, I've never had nerves like that during a football match. Oh, I am so scared in that kind of last 20 minutes. But um, let's be honest, a good overall performance from Hamilton. Mm -hmm. um, chances created, not taken. We rode our luck at times, let's be honest. St Mirren had a good few chances as well. Um, but ultimately, who cares? <laughs> ultimately, it's three points. Exactly, right. Three points. Um, I'd like to get your opinion on David Moyo because you've came on here a few times and defended David Moyo. We've just heard Brandon's thoughts as well. Um, and I personally thought David Moyo was fantastic today. Um, I thought he was really, really good. Um, I, I I like Moyle. He's a he's a he puts in so much graft every single game. It, I don't think he necessarily gets results every single game. And I think the goal today pretty much sums him up. Like his goal, that's the types of goals that he'll score. He's not going to be a guy that'll ping them for thirty yards or nicely finished challenges. He's just a handful for defenders, and that's what he offers. I think today he was brilliant though. He won a lot of headers. Um, I'd say to you, we're talking through the game, obviously there was a slack pass in the first half and one at the start of the second half, but he got it out of the system and for the rest of the game, he was absolutely brilliant. Uh, him and Anderson linked up really well and that's the first time I've seen Anderson and really rate him as well. I've not been the biggest fan of him, but I thought today was brilliant. Yeah, I thought Bruce Anderson, we've spoken about before a few times, Anderson's been really quiet recently. Um, you know, Players like Callahan Anderson and that who need to really step up the last few games and they did today. Ross Callahan. 
Um, obviously, good sc- scrappy goal. Let's be honest, but one that one that he had to be there to finish. Um, he then pings a twenty-five yarder off off the bar. Um, confidence was high in the game. That's what you said to me as well. Was the players were just playing with confidence? And I think that was summed up by David Moyer trying an overhead kick. <laughs> And then there was Anderson's keep you up as well, where he just would hold the man off three keep up and then get a shot away. Unlucky, but the, the, point, the, the team were all were looking right up for it, especially at 2 0 up. I think maybe they set the when St. Mirren got one back, the, the nerves started to come in, but all credit to them, they held out, which is not it's been rare for a Hamilton team of the last five years to actually do that. So hopefully it's a good sign for the two games left. Spot one. And we saw Brian Rice in the stands today. It was Boozy who was in charge in the dugout. Um, and I was saying to Adam um, before that, I'd have quite like to see Doug Emery. I know Boozy's assistant, so he naturally does step up, but I would quite like to see Doug Emery maybe step up a bit more and have more say kind of in the dugout. Um, what did you make of Brian Rice and Stanford? Do you think that helped us, or do you think it, it didn't really make a difference? See, to be honest, mate, see with the, the no fans in the ground, I don't think it really makes much of a difference. Um mm. He's he's twenty yards further away from the team than he would have been already, and you could hear him on the the cam. You could, when you're watching the tell, you could hear him anyway. So I don't think it makes too much of a difference. But as you're saying, I would like to have seen Doug Emery as well. Just I think because he is an absolute legend, you just want to see him in that role. Um, but whatever whatever was done today, whoever took the team talks and stuff, it worked. So no criticism of it whatsoever. Uh, Lewis Smith coming back, I think it's absolutely massive. The guy bleeds out. He's uh, and he's also he just he can hold a ball up. He can take on a man. He can, and he's a player like when, when Tony Andrew was on form, um, he wasn't a great player, but he would just have a shot and it, was, it would mount to something. And that's the kind of player that I think Lewis Smith is as well. He would just try stuff. And we've seen it the day as well with Bruce Anderson's second goal. He, he does nothing going on for him. He just hits a shot, it hits off Moyong goes in. So mm-hmm. it's just forcing an issue rather than waiting on something. I think that's what Lewis Smith really brings. Um, and then Nathan Thomas, I think the glimpses that we've seen of him throughout the season when he's been in before he gets injured. He's absolutely lightning quick, and I think that can he be, can he be undervalued in the Scottish game? Is how much pace, how much pace can play in a game? Yep, absolutely. And finally, before you, I'll let you go. Man of the match today, if you were to pick one out. Same as every week, Hakeem Adolphin. The guy's unbelievably good. Interesting. I thought I thought you'd have went David Moyo after today, but Hakeem Adolphin's a fair choice. Hello from ESC.